I love Utah. Would not want to live here. Summers are a little bit too hot. Winters are a little bit too cold. But to pass through is a joy. It's just so beautiful and so unusual. Like nowhere else in the country, to be quite honest with you. Hi everybody, this is Oleg. Welcome to Oregon Preparedness. And in this video, I really wanted to talk to you about what else? Ukraine, again. But this is the subject that bothers and worries, I'm sure, 99% of, of the people on this earth at the moment. And the question is, will Putin nuke Ukraine? You know, uh, more and more everywhere, Europe, here, um, Ukraine, Russia, Canada, doesn't matter. Mexico, everybody talks about possible nuclear war and what to do. And uh, the governments are preparing for it. They're uh, making the suggestions as far as, you know, fallout shelters and what you should do, what you shouldn't do. Uh, can't find potassium iodine tablets. It's just becoming already a big, big mess before even one single nuclear bomb has exploded. It's already, it's already chaos in the world. And if you look at the news, if you look at what's going on, it sure looks like Ukrainian forces are uh, taking back their territories slowly, but they do. My question is, is it, are they really taking it back? Because for me, it's hard to imagine when the war started, you know, Russia, you know, in a few months took one third of Ukrainian territory. And now the Ukrainian army is all beat up. They are suddenly winning. Um, maybe they are, I don't know. But I also think there could be a possibility that Russian army is retreating. They're evacuating people from Kherson right now. Maybe because something else is gonna happen soon. Maybe because there is a chance that Putin is planning to drop a nuke. You know, Putin says he's not bluffing. He will defend Russian territory with all means possible, which obviously includes nuclear war, uh, nuclear uh, warheads. Uh, then, uh, you know, European Union, NATO, they all say that they're not bluffing either. They're going to respond accordingly, not nuclear, but they're going to destroy the Russian army. What does that mean? That, that means to me nuclear war, World War III. Because if NATO forces destroy uh, Russian army, uh, Russia is going to nuke different European countries, NATO countries, and the United States, of course. So I sure hope it doesn't come to that, you know, but everybody still has the question, will Putin nuke Ukraine? And that's my question to you. What do you think about it? Is he going to nuke it? Is Ukraine going the wrong way by keep fighting Russia? In my opinion, in my opinion, it's the wrong way because there is no way that Putin is going to give up. You know, you can say whatever you want about him, but he is not going to give up no matter what. If he has to, he will use nuclear weapons, which spells death of millions, probably hundreds of millions of people. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about it? Are, are Ukrainians right about keep fighting? In my opinion, they're wrong. There is no way to win. In my opinion, if the war is winnable, yeah, go ahead, fight. Fight for your freedom, fight for your, you know, for your land. 
If the war is not winnable, there is just no point. And uh, they're just way too proud to say, okay, let's have some peace talk. And there's still, no matter how many Russians are leaving Russia right now, no matter, um, the, no matter what, there is still a lot more people in Russia than there is in Ukraine. In my opinion, Ukraine should say, okay, Russia, let's have a peace talk and come to some agreement and call it a day. But once again, they're too proud to say it. They're going to be fighting to the last Ukrainian, okay? After last Ukrainian falls, who's going to get the land? Anybody ever think about it? Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. This is getting more crazy. And uh, I still have to work. I still have to pay my bills. And I'm hauling these beams made out of plywood all the way to Indiana. I'll talk to you in the next upload. Be safe, everybody, and get ready. Thanks for watching.